Tex here with BFA 14. Today we're going to look at the case one bolter pattern and I'm going to talk you guys through some of the reference points I use to uh, get back on the boat safely and efficiently. So this first pass will be a hookup bolter. So we're at the turn in point here uh, looking at uh, trying to maintain 600 feet and about a 30 degree bank angle. Uh, for me I usually keep that tick mark just under 30 degrees and then once I hit the 90 I can adjust from there and really your focus needs to stay on the HUD, uh, watching your altitude, uh, trying to keep that turn as level as you can through here. And then once you hit the 90, you can kind of peek over and see where the boat is. So there we go, make sure the boat's where we are. And in our mission here, we've got the Arleigh Burke aft of the ship and it makes a great reference point uh, for a flyover. Uh, keeps you right on line for that turn in to get lined up on the final bearing. So I'm a little high here, so I'm gonna cut the throttles just a little bit bring that velocity vector below the horizon, try to, to reduce that altitude. And you can see here I'm about a mile out, still haven't really rolled wings level. 201, Hornet Balls, 7.8. So what I'm looking for is once I get on center line and on glide slope, then I'm gonna stick that velocity vector right on the crotch of the ship, right at the, the right edge of the landing area there. and just kind of keep it there, keeps the boat from driving away from you. And then once you hit the, the ramp area, then you can let that drift over to the center line. Bunker, bunker, bunker. So the bolter pattern here, the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got a positive rate of climb. Zero, zero. And then you want to make a slight right turn to put yourself back on BRC, which for us is a 212 on this mission here. And then we want to make a nice easy climb up to 600 feet. Don't want to go any higher than 600 feet just in case there's someone in the pattern about to break overhead. Uh, they should be at 800 feet, so that will give us a little bit of deconfliction there. Um, once you get pretty close to 600, check traffic around you. And then once you hit 600, you can start that 30 degree turn back to uh, the pattern. And again, you should, should pretty well be on speed from the approach there and a 30 degree turn should put you back really close to that 1.2 mile of beam that we're looking for um, on the downwind. And again on our mission here we've got a Ticonderoga class ship set up a mile um, exactly port of the carrier so that's a great reference point to get yourself lined up that 1.2 1, 1 miles of beam that we're looking for. So I actually roll out a little wide here. So what I do is I cut the my heading down um, about 15 degrees inside of the reciprocal. Um, actually it looks like only about 7 degrees there. And close that distance down once I hit 1.2 miles on the bottom corner of the HSI then I, I roll back to the reciprocal which is 032. 201 a beam. So at this point now, I want to once I can see the round down of the ship, when I just very first start to see the back of the ship, I'm going to start that turn in. So I know a, a, a lot of guys really want to push this out and extend it, and it can really clog up the pattern. So you want to make sure you get that turn in done pretty quick. <coughs> so again, I got a little high here, so I'm going to dip that velocity vector below the horizon, try to get that altitude back on where I need it to be. So once I feel I've got it down where I need it to be, I'm going to throttle up and, and get back, get that back to a level turn. Again, reference point here, just try to fly over that Arleigh Burke, should get us uh, right on online to line up on that final, final heading. So again here, just about a mile wings level. 201 Hornet Ball, 7.2. So we got a little better line up here to start with, so just a tiny bit high, we're gonna work that down and then put that velocity vector right on the crotch of the ship. And just like before, last uh, once we hit the ramp here, then we're just gonna let that drift over to the center line. Red deck. There we got an OK four wire. So 
Hope that helps you guys uh, fly the proper bolts better.